वन इज इंट्रोडक्शन अनदर वन इज जेसॉन सिंटेक्स एंड डेटा टाइप्स जेसॉन सिंटेक्स एंड डेटा टाइप्स अदर वन इज अदर वन इज जेसॉन ओके एक्सएमएल वर्सेस जेसॉन XML versus JSON. Already okay, XML is there. Why we should go for JSON? Okay, next one is JSON. JSON serialization. Importance of Jackson. Importance of Jackson. That what is JSON serialization, JSON deserialization. Next one is next one is Jackson. Jackson importance of Jackson. Next one is JSON. Annotations team. Annotations. What annotations we are using in our real time every project team. Now next one. JSON. Examples we are going to see. Okay, examples we are going to see. Now what are the real time use cases with JSON? What are the real time use cases with JSON? How it works? Okay. Now the next one is summary. Summary. These are the you know topics we are going to discuss on JSON. Now this is my agenda on this JSON team. Let's see very very important. So three team. Now, first half an hour or one hour theory will be there. Next we will jump into okay practical team. Next we will jump into practical. So I am sure at the end of this three hours, right, uh, you will get complete knowledge on JSON, and you you will have confident you can okay able to write okay, JSON scripts also, team. Okay, now let's see. Now, okay, introduction, team. Introduction. JSON stands for JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. JavaScript Object Notation. It is it is derived from it is derived from javascript but not depending on javascript it is derived from javascript but not depending on the javascript team. now JSON is JSON is JSON data is JSON data is lightweight lightweight and human readable text and human readable text JSON data is lightweight and human readable text and human readable text Okay, now JSON, JSON and human readable test, JSON file names are extension with dot JSON, JSON file names are extension with dot JSON, JSON file names are extension with dot 
जिसान जिसान इंटरनेट मीडिया टाइप इज एप्लीकेशन स्लैश जैसा माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वाई शुड आई लर्न जैसा नो व्हाट इज द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ दिस जैसा वाई शुड आई लर्न जैसा and what is the importance of this json see to understand this you know we have to go some okay, in your real time what is a rest api see here rest api is nothing but you have a one application you have a one distributed application this distributed of applications may be may be balance your bank balance bank balance details account balance details account balance info this is a one of the application thing see this application is developed by whom this application is developed by whom any bank team it's maybe city bank maybe a okay it may be city bank or it may be a comics bank okay, any bank team so see you can see your bank balance you know you are how much you are okay according to balance information you can see it from your net banking you can see it from here mobile you can see it from phone pay you can see it from google pay so many third part of applications can able to access your your bank application so many third part of applications can able to access your bank application team can able to access your bank applications team now what are the third part applications how it works now we'll see so now here see team okay, let's see see now it is a bank application team now you have see i i want to see how much balance is there in my in my account i can see via net banking i can see from phone pay i can see from mobile app i can see from phone pay or g pay phone pay or g pay google pay i can see so many places so i can see it team. so this bank application has developed in maybe dot net technologies team because this city bank will use only dot net this here net banking guy will be using java mobile app is using android phone page gps are using maybe golang technologies there is a market is you know golang is there which uh, very rare people knows about this golang team but you know golang is okay, one of the technologies team now here see all the technologies are using you know all these organizations or companies are using okay, different technologies here how all these technologies can communicating with your bank application team so your bank application is a distributing application team it is it is a distributed application so what this bank applications guy will do hey i am expo i am using dot net if i want to support this dot net from all the technologies if you want to support this dot net from all the technologies then so this net banking people don't know about dot net mobile app don't know about dot net phone pay don't know about dot net now what this this guy will do this okay city bank guy 
they will provide one REST API. It is a one of REST API team. They will provide one of REST API. So account balance info is a one of the REST API team. This REST API is in which technologies? .NET technologies. If anyone calling this our, okay, th these are the organizations. Whoever is provide this okay, information is called provider. Whoever provides the okay, information is called the provider team. These are all in our web services terminologies. Provider team. All these are called consumers team. All these are called consumers team. Whoever consume your application, consumer one. All these are called consumers team. Consumer one, consumer two, consumer three. All are called consumers team. All are called consumers team. So now, see if your consumers are or clients are accessing from different places team. If your clients are accessing from different locations. If your clients are accessing from different technologies, how my .NET guy can, .NET application can support to all this consumer team. So compulsory, this Citibank .NET will provide, will provide one, Citibank .NET will provide one documentation, one user guide that is called Swagger document. Swagger documentation is in the form of JSON and JSON or YAML. Either one of the format it is there. So to understand this Swagger documentation, you must know either JSON or YAML team. Why? I will explain. This Swagger documentation, this Swagger documentation will be shared to all the consumers all the consumers please try to understand why i should learn this json you may be a java you may be a dot net you may be a php irrespective of the technology developer irrespective of the technology developer everyone must okay everyone must use you know okay everyone must use json team now here see so this okay, REST API has provided, you know, this okay, Citibank has provided one service. This service, he will you know if anyone want to access this service, he will prepare the one user guide. That user guide documentation in the form of Swagger, provide this Swagger documentation to all the consumers team. Provide this Swagger documentation to all the consumers team what this consumers will do this consumer by seeing the swagger documentation what this consumer will do by see, seeing the swagger documentation this consumer will prepare the request object in java why this consumer knows only java only this consumer will prepare the request object in java this consumer will prepare the request object in android this guy knows only android this consumer will prepare the request in Golang. This consumer knows only Golang or Angular application. Please try to understand the concept. Why this JSON is famous in the market? Why you should learn this JSON? I am trying to explain to you. Now please try to understand the Now please. So all these consumers are preparing the request object in which technologies? java which technology is android which technology is in golang or you know see i cannot send my java object to my provider why provider can understand only dot net only provider can understand only dot net only i cannot send my android object to my city bank because this provider can understand only dot net only see see if all the consumers want access this account balance info from different technologies what this java guy will do hey convert this request object into json 
convert this okay, request object into json convert this okay, request object into json json is a is not specific to any technologies json is common for all the technologies json is not specific to any technologies every developer every technology developer must understand the json must understand the json it is kind of a mediator for all the technologies so this java guys will be prepared the request object converting a okay, request object into json send json to whom send json to who your provider city bank what this okay city bank will do okay i got this json object i am fine what this okay city bank will do convert this json object to, to convert this json object to, to dot net request object convert this okay, json object to, to dot net okay, request object please if you understand this it will be easy now here convert this json to dot net okay, request object dot net okay, request object to t because this this guy can understand only dot net so give this okay dot net to whom your city bank team give this okay dot net to whom city bank team now here what i am trying to say similarly same team same what you are what you are you know this here if you see it here same your android guy will be prepared the request object in android so what this android guy will do prepare the request object prepare the request object send the request object to your convert your your request object to json send json to your provider at provider and some processors will be there json will be converting into dot net object dot net object team please try to understand please try to understand what your provider will do provider will process the request provider knows only okay dot net only provider knows only okay okay dot net only this provider will prepare the response object provider will pro prepare the response object response object in each technology is dot net why your provider knows only dot net at pro provider end some processors will be there convert your response of a dot net object into json 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 team please try to understand json json this json will be sending to whom your consumer at consumer end again again at consumer end again it is a java convert this json to java object convert this json to java object convert this json to java object now please try to understand team this will be applicable for all the technologies this will be applicable for all the technologies team it is a response object in which the technologies it is java oh, it is java since we are learning on only you know, java based then i will be focusing on more of a java team here i will be focusing on more of a java team please try to understand it is a response object you know which technologies the dot net technologies every request your consumer end by seeing the swagger documentation by seeing the swagger documentation so your 
consumer will prepare the request object convert this request object into json prepare the request object convert this request object into json send this json to whom your provider at provider end so what you should understand here okay every application team so if you want to communicate two applications if the two applications are available in different technologies if you want to exchange the data if you want to exchange the data between these two applications you should use json you should use json how to use this json okay i will explain for every request consumer end your request object will be converting into json json will go to provider at your provider end your json converting into dot net object json will be converting into dot net object team same here if it is another consumer application your request object will be converting into json json will go to your provider at provider again json will be converting into request object your provider will give a response same response he will give in okay, which technologies dot net technologies why your consume okay your provider knows only dot net only he will prepare the he will prepare the response in which tech, which technologies the dot net of technologies okay dot net of technologies this okay, response object will be converting into json json team json please try to understand this json as it is will be coming to whom our consumer at consumer end some processors will be there at consumer end some processors will be there this processor has the responsibility to convert your json to android object json to android object see if you want to communicate two applications if the two applications are from using okay different technologies so json is used to communicate between these two okay, applications okay let's see team. json is used to to communicate these two okay, application so when to use this json okay when to use this json now see team. so json is used json is is used to json is used to to communicate to communicate to communicate to communicate between the application to communicate between the application to communicate between the application since since json data is is not specific to any technologies not specific to any technologies not specific to any of technologies it should be generic for generic for all the technologies it should be generic for all the technologies every okay every technologies every technology every technology developer every technology developer must learn the json must learn the json okay every okay every technology developer must learn the json that's why i i would say json data is an interoperable json data is an interoperable is an interoperable what is mean by interoperable it is able to operating between all the systems okay it is able to cooperate between all the system json data is an interoperable json data is an interoperable it is able to operate you know all the all the technologies it is able to operate okay it is just like intermediate 
between all the technologies book intermediate between all the technologies team so in in web services in in okay, rest services and okay, rest api rest api development rest api development json use use json in in web services and okay, rest api developments rest api development use json use json format use json format to, to exchange the data between the applications to okay, exchange the data between the application team between the applications okay now so this is what main okay, importance of this json this is what main okay, importance of this json team so why you should go for this json you know so to communicate between two two, two applications or okay, exchange the data between the two applications you, you should use called json okay you should use called json team now please try to understand now see json syntax and data types json syntax and data types there are other json usages also will be there team okay i will explain team other json okay, usages also will, will be there okay i will explain team json data json data is in the form of is in the form of key value pair json data is in the form of key value pair json data is in the form of key value pair json syntax is json syntax is key1 colon value 1 key2 colon value 2 key3 colon value 3 json syntax is key1 colon value 1 key2 colon value 2 key3 colon value 3 where key is equal to key is equal to always string and value may be and value may be it may be a string, it may be a number, it may be a boolean, it may be object, it may be a null, it may be array. So these are called JSON data types. So JSON data types are, what are the JSON data types? There are six JSON data types. One is string, other one is number, other one is Boolean. Six data types are string, number, Boolean. Some guys are using boolean means true or false. Yes, boolean is true or false. Fourth one, object. Fifth one, null. Sixth one, array. Ready. Now let's see. So, few of the examples team. Okay, examples on JSON data type okay, examples. JSON data types of okay, examples team. See now number one. Okay. First example. JSON data. JSON data always enclosed with okay. Number one. Now if you see it here, JSON data 
Now see, JSON data types of okay, examples. See the first example. Key is always string order order ID. One two three. Order name. Name. Mobile. Here I am taking order ID is an integer number. Order name. Mobile. Is order delivered? Is delivered? Now, true or false? Boolean. Next one. Next one. Order description. There is no description. It is a null value. So, number, string, boolean, and null value. I will explain array and object. So, it is JSON data type stream. So, it is a string, it is a string, number, boolean, and description. The next one. How the JSON array? The array, JSON always should be starts with curly braces only. JSON always start with curly braces only. But if you want to okay, declare your array, array so how it is there sir always key is in the form of strings only always key is in the form of string but in this string right now you should do array array is always okay, enclosed with the square brackets array in this array what is the order one order one okay you have a list of orders First order, order object. What elements are there? Maybe order ID, order name, all will be in there. So you can go for horizontal for more format, right? Beautiful. You should go for straight. So it is a one object. Since it is an array. You may have n number of objects. Go to here. Go to here. N number of objects. Okay. Now let's see. You can write n number of objects here. Array index of 0. Array index of 1. Array index of 2. You can write so many team. You can write so many here. So what is it important here now? JSON data okay, important to point. point. JSON data always enclosed with always enclosed with the curly braces json data always enclosed with the curly braces always enclosed with the curly braces json array data array data array data enclosed with the enclosed with the square enclosed with the square braces square braces Okay, JSON data always, even though JSON will have 100, 100 elements, but JSON data root element is curly braces. Root element is JSON data root element. Root element is braces, curly braces. Root element is curly braces. Root element is curly braces. Understood team, root element is curly braces. Hope you're clear. Now please try to understand team. Root element is curly braces. Now let's see team. Next one. Next one. Okay. Hope you are good. Now you know the basics. Why you should go for JSON data. Okay. Now let's see. 
so this is called json syntax and data type stream if you see entire your no json so entire you may see a big big uh, json files a big big json files there are irrespective of the size of your json data types are only 16 that key is always string only key is always string only but, but the value may, may be one of these data types what is mean by object i will explain object of this value it is the one of the object it is the one of the object i will explain still what is the object this value means i will explain to you so no done okay next one team if already xml is there why you should go for the json xml versus json team xml versus json team see i would say simple team first one is okay, xml is a heavyweight whereas json is lightweight why c why c team no i have a xml team orders simple xml i have order if you take same example okay you can understand easily team that's why i'm taking this order id order id order name mobile order name mobile order okay description order name is is delivered is a deliver true or false please team please try to understand next one team okay, description description is this product was good team so what you will understand here since it is only json i am not spending more on xml but i will tell you see if it is only json now here what happened in 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 xml for every element in xml for every element for every element for xml root element is mandatory see the rules of xml rules of xml team rules of xml number one root element root element is mandatory for every xml document see now for every xml document root element is mandatory for for every xml document team number two number two see every element every xml element start element and end element for every xml start element start element end element is end element is mandatory for every xml start element for every xml start element end element is mandatory team end element is mandatory team okay number two number three number three team see now okay xml okay xml now here see number three to read the xml document to read the okay, xml document we have to developer developer should write the code should write the code manually should write the code in manually now comes to here to read the xml document from from web or ui developer should write the code manually now use now see json json is a lightweight team json is lightweight 
now if you see json json structure see how simple it is see how simple it is please okay try to understand order id one two three same here whatever we gave here name delivered here same instead of typing again instead of typing again now let's see it in. go to here see now json no need for root element team for json see when compared to xml xml is a root element is mandatory whereas json json no need root element root element so no need for start element no need for end element team no need start element end end element no need start and end elements now see here only you can reduce most of the see here you have to write see when compared to okay xml json data size is lightweight here is only simple text it is here you will see start element end element you will see again root element so that's why when compared now third one no need to developer if you want if to read the json data to read the json data from web or ui ui no need to write the code no need to write the code A browser will take care browser will take care browser will take care to read the data the browser will take care to parse and read the data to parse and read the data see how much advantage it is that's why you know market stopped using this like, xml stuff team almost okay, every application market is using json okay json team here here i am taking only for four five elements team in your real time you have your customer data your offers data would be uh, 500 600 uh, elements are there thousand elements are there you can imagine if thousand elements are there means th th thousand start elements thousand end elements root element data how much size it is so when compared to when compared to compared to okay, xml json data is json data is less in size so so it can transfer so it can transfer in so what it can transfer in network and transfer in network is is you know very speed when compared to xml json data is less in size to transfer data in network so so json data so json data json data and transfer transfer via and transfer in network the speed speed if it is okay if it is a xml will take will take will take okay will take more time team xml to validate the xml we need a schema is required json also json schemas are required xsds are used validate the xml json also json schemas are there json schemas Schemas are used to validate the JSON. To validate the JSON team. Okay. Now, so that's why 
market is using see just a simple team if you go for amazon.com amazon.com i have books information i want go for the books all use case so how many books are coming team one two three four five so each row five how many rows approximately 10 rows are there or okay 20 rows will be there if 20 rows means small okay books use case books use case so okay, amazon.com so okay every book what is there book id book name book author book price book isbn number and uh, book okay book is there any offer book title book okay, reviews book image okay so so many steam minimum so book id name book is in stock or not okay book in stock or not now what is the book i uh, you know pages so on the on team approximately 20 properties are there in this book team what is the, what is the type of of the book what is the no we have 20 rows each row how many five hundred books is coming hundred books multiply 20 properties each book two thousand properties will come one object you can imagine okay, this book size is approximately json 2000 properties books array it is an array take it an array if you go for array is an first is an object take it is book id name isbn approximately how many each object around 20 properties we have 100 books 100 100 objects in your array 100 objects in your array if it is json the xml is too bad team for every start element books is required now you have to start element it is a book book is required again now you have to go what is the book id start element id is one two three start with book id every every xml start element of end, end element is there 2000 properties to 2000 properties means it will take big size in the work xml document team if it when compared to json xml is heavyweight team here in your architecture not only for json you can take okay xml also the process of converting java object into xml here xml also can transfer to your provider but in our in our traditional all legacy applications were using of xml because at that time json was not introduced team now here because of xml is a heavy weight while you are transferring data between these applications okay xml is heavy weight team that's why that's why okay you should not use any xmls okay you should not use any xmls always now all the projects are recommended using json okay json team now now okay, let's see team how to use this json now hope you are good okay, till now all are good now why why we should go for a xml why you should go for json team now good okay, next one so what is this json serialization and deserialization team what is this json serialization and okay, deserialization now we'll see very very important stuff team before you go into that let us assume that in this use case i have a consumer is java and a provider also is java consumer is java and a provider also will be java please try to understand if consumer is dotnet and a provider also will be dotnet 
I have a consumer. I have a provider. Provider will provide the one service or a REST API. He will share the swagger documentation to your consumer. He will share the swagger documentation to the consumer. Share the swagger documentation to the consumer. Using swagger documentation. Using swagger documentation. Consumer will prepare the request object. Using swagger documentation. Consumer will prepare the request object. Convert this request object into where? JSON. The process of converting a request object into JSON. JSON team. Please try to understand team. Please try to understand. So send this JSON to whom? Send this JSON to whom? Send this JSON to whom your provider. Your consumer. Here you will be prepared the request object. Request object in which technology is? So the process of converting JSON. Who will take care of this in Java? Is the concept is called Jackson. In Java, it is a concept is called Jackson. In PHP, maybe PHP Jackson will be there. I will explain clearly to you. Please try to understand. Here it is a request object. For every request object, your consumer end. For every request object. Your consumer and what happened? He will be prepared the okay, request object. Dot okay, request object in Java. Java object will be converting into whom? JSON. Who will do this conversion? Jackson. Every technology is their own okay, libraries are there to convert their object into JSON and JSON to their okay, technology object. Send this JSON to whom? Your provider. What provider and some processors will be there convert your JSON to whom Jackson JSON to whom Jackson give this request object into here give this request object into here now please try to understand team please try to understand so your provider will process the data your provider will process the data your provider will prepare what response object your provider will prepare what okay response object one is okay, request object another one is called okay, response is request object another one is called a response object who will take care your jackson jackson has the responsibility to convert your your response object into json now here see it is json it is it is a request json here it is a response json try to understand here it is a okay, response json here it is a okay, response object give a okay, response object to, to whom you are consumer
here it is request json here it is response json request object response object of oh, here cd at least try to understand if it is java team if it is .NET, here both consumer is Java and provider is Java. If consumer is .NET, provider is Java means in .NET, someone needs to be converted .NET request object into JSON in Java. In Java, see, for every request, please try to understand team, in Java, for every request, for every request, at for every request consumer end consumer end line number one for every request consumer end java object will be converting into java object will be converted into json json and provider end and provider end json will be json will be converted into java object for every response for every response please try to understand these are of important for every response provider end java object will be java response object will be Converted into Java of response object will be converted into converted into JSON. Java of response object will be converted into JSON. Converted into JSON and consumer end JSON will be. Converted into Java object team. That means no, I will add a few more things here. I will add a few more things. Now please see it here. That means what is JSON serialization? The process of the process of the process of converting java object into json is called json serialization the process of converting java object into json is called json serialization For every request, consumer end JSON serialization will be happen. For every request, consumer end and every response provider end. For every request, consumer end JSON serialization. We have every request and consumer and Java object will be converting into converting into JSON and for every response every response provider end JSON JSON serialization will be happen will be happened. Now, JSON serialization. What is JSON deserialization? The process of the process of converting JSON to Java object 
is called jason visualization the process of converting java object to json to java object is called deserialization for every response for every response consumer end json deserialization will be happened and for every for, for every request provider end as why every request provider end if you give the request object request object will be sending to json here convert json to your java object provider end json deserialization now question is question is who will do who will do serialization json serialization and deserialization who will do json serialization and deserialization answer is answer is jackson answer is jackson who will do do json serialization and deserialization in java in java in dotnet different framework in jackson answer is jackson library jackson library will take care to convert to for every request this consumer end your java object will be converting into json same json will go to your provider same json will go to your provider at provider end some processors are there this request to json will be converting into request object who will take care jackson provider will send you a response object this response object will be converting into response in json at provider end some processors are there your response object will be converting into json send that json to whom your consumer it is called response json try to understand again your consumer end response object will be converting into your okay, response object to team any questions please not cheating this is what how the okay, internal team it is yeah please ask question so initially yeah. in the diagram you said like uh, uh, we are sharing the swagger document to consumer consumer from the provider right no so, no yeah. no no i always provider only will share see my arrow yeah always. i mean yeah my question is like uh, what is the reason for sharing the document be, because generally uh, consumer will be sending the request to the uh, provider and provider will be providing the response right so what is the yeah. role of swagger document over there on the top swagger documentation will contain such sort of information about see without knowing this service name how your consumer will call this information how you are see to call your consumer some details right where is this location how to call the, this uh, what is the request what is the response without knowing these details how this consumers are called to this uh, service so swagger documentation will contain such sort of information about swagger documentation it is a okay, rest api a okay, user guide it contains information about information about api like api like name of the api like api name api description how to call api okay, endpoint url endpoint url means location of your api 
api location where it is that is a like http colon something okay without knowing location how can you call now okay. api okay request so and here whenever we talking about consumer so consumer means like the front end like ui team right now it may be ui team it may be another application okay depends okay another app but not it like a be... direct uh, client right not a consumer right the real user right no 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 not real user oh. Okay, got you. Yeah, thanks. That's for my question. Oh, thanks. Yeah, okay. error codes and uh, sample uh, request and response, HTTP methods, all the details are available in the Swagger, in JSON Swagger. So all the, this, yeah, yeah. A 10th class guy also can understand if you know basic English, uh, you know, about, uh, you know, JSON. He can understand about this swagger. So swagger is like, okay, I should call this balance. My balance location is here. I should call my balance. What request I should prepare? What response I should get? What errors it will give? What is the simple request and response? And what are the HTTP? methods what is the data format like xml i should pass or json i should pass all the details will be given to him uh, all so, the details yeah so this swagger document like uh, we will be having like one if uh, one swagger document for one microservice or like yes, it yes, will be like yes. whole application no one every micro service will have one swagger documentation is mandatory not whole project if your okay. client has 100, 100 micro services 100 swagger documents yeah and it's not like for api level right it's like microservice level right so yes exactly exactly yeah oh. yes in service may, may have 20 30 apis uh, for every service one swagger documentation in that swagger you have 20 APAs of information is there. Okay, got it, sir. Thanks. Yeah, thank you, team. Now see. Let's see, team. Now we'll see. So, who will do JSON serialization and OKT serialization in Java? Answer is Jackson Library team. Jackson Library. Now, let's see. So, what this Jackson will do? Jackson, the this is Jackson is used. Jackson is used to used to perform perform JSON serialization and JSON deserialization. Jackson is used to perform JSON serialization and JSON deserialization. JSON serialization and JSON deserialization done. Now, now till now we are good team. Let's see now. What are the JSON annotations are required now? Now we have seen till now team. What are the JSON annotations are required? Now we'll go for our example team. We'll go for our example team. Now fifth one team. JSON. So okay, how to enable this Jackson? How to enable Jackson? library so we have to add we need to add jackson jackson dependency in pom.xml you need to add jackson of a dependency in pom.xml go to here jackson Maven dependency need to add Jackson dependency in our palm.xml not core J Jackson data bind I will explain this data bind internally will it is in latest one is 2022 Jackson data bind we have to add this dependency to add this dependency 
action data bind internally will bring it will also will bring other two okay, dependencies one is one is jackson one is jackson four other one is jackson annotations one is jackson core other one is jackson annotations one is jackson core other one is jackson annotations okay jackson data bind okay internally is it is a one jar team this jar will bring another two jars jackson core and jackson annotations team jackson core and jackson annotations team okay now let's see so now what is json how to do json serialization how to do json serialization team let's see json serialization so to perform to perform to perform serialization so jackson has provided jackson has provided jackson has provided some predefined predefined utility classes predefined okay, okay utility classes to perform json serialization and json deserialization serialization and json deserialization team json of serialization and json deserialization team one second team json serialization and json okay deserialization team okay how to do it this one let's see the okay, practical look i will explain to you how the serialization and deserialization will be happening to you please okay, try to understand it so the class is called object mapper team object mapper is the class object mapper has object mapper has object mapper has two methods team two methods team one is one is right value one is right value another one is another one is read value another one is read value team now here okay right value is used here right value is is used here to convert convert now here the process of convert java object to json if you give java object it will take care to convert json read value is used to if you give the json it will give the java object read value is used to if you give the json it will convert to java object the process of converting java object into json is called right value the process of converting json to java object is called the read value is called the read value team now we'll see now we'll see okay how to use team please try to understand team please try to understand team i have a simple java class i will explain simple i will explain complex team i have a simple java class public class order simple java class team now i am going with private spring order id integer private string name private boolean delivered private int 
order ID, private string name, private boolean delivered, private, private string description T. See now. Here we will have some okay, setters and getters are there. Be. Here we have some okay, setters and getters are there. Be. Now it is it is a my simple Java class. Team. It is my simple Java class. Now please try to understand team, how to do and all I will explain. Now I want see, I want do the JSON serialization team. If you want to do JSON serialization, now what we'll do? You have to prepare the Java object first. Order R is equal to new order R. New order R. R dot set order ID. It is an integer team. 1, 2, 3. R dot set name. It is a mobile r dot set delivered since it is a boolean team r dot set a description team is a good now i have i give you a simple java object team. please try to understand i will show you practically this if it is simple java object team see how to convert the process of see it is a simple java object team it is a simple java object the process of converting java object into json is called serialization team how it will happen how it will be happening team please try to understand you have to write the code how to write the code Object to mapper, mapper is equal to new object to mapper. Object to mapper class will be written by whom? Object to mapper class will be written by whom? Jackson library, where mapper dot write value or write value as a string. It is expecting Java object. If you give Java object, it will give the string JSON. Right? Please try to understand. So how the output is there? The process of converting your Java object into JSON. How the JSON output is there? You will go to JSON. Order ID. 1, 2, 3. Order name. Mobile. Please here. Some important topics are there here. Please try to understand. Mobile. Order delivered through description good. I'm closing this JSON. I'm closing this JSON. Now please try to understand it. I'm closing this JSON. The process of converting json to java object the process of converting json to java object is called the json serialization now whenever while you are trying to convert your json to java object and sorry java object to json whenever while you are converting java object into json your java property should be same as java key name see here java property name should be equal to java key name java data properties data is a value here note here very 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 important here note note while doing serialization while doing serialization while doing serialization while doing json Serialization. Java, Java properties, Java properties should be 
converting as should be converting as json keys java properties should be converting as json keys should be java properties as java properties converting as json keys json key string please try to understand now it is a one of the example team hope you are clear with this okay, use case next use case team small okay, interested okay, use case please try to understand i am slowly okay, injecting here small use case another use case is that's why i am okay, copy pasted here another use case is here i have a customer team customer will have some customer data customer wake string customer first name customer last name order order customer last name order so now now what you will understand here if you understand see here you have a two simple direct properties one is an object to team one is an object now where is an object of this one here only it is a order object it may be a list or it may be a simple it's all up to you order object team please try to understand please try to understand team it may be simple or it may be a order order object team now how to prepare the java object how to prepare the java object? now cd so it is my customer object it is my order object here is okay okay interest one is team now here see okay use case one is done now okay next to next to use case team okay, next to use case team please try to understand okay, next to use case what is the okay, next to use case team so i need to prepare what customer object first customer customer is equal to new customer so now what i will do customer dot set first name customer dot set last name Customer dot address it as a Hyderabad. Hyderabad. Now oh, let's see. Customer dot set order. We need to prepare the order object to prepare the order object. Now here what I should do, I need to prepare the order object also or they are not here, yes. Now here, I am copying this whole order. Now here see, order object here. So I need to do here, customer dot set order. I am preparing. So all object mapper mapper is equal to new object mapper. Mapper dot write value string as now it is. Now it is customer. 
it is write value string as not is customer team now the process of converting java object into json how it will do how it will do now see it what is the what is the output here root element is there java bean properties java properties as in json key here name last name address now here is important address address hyderabad now order is an object team is an object it is not a simple one it is an object under order again we have some properties order id order name it is an object order id 1 2 3 comma what is the name mobile what is the name is delivered name and also a description good and this is what how it works team. this is what how it works now let's see team. See here every JSON key should be mapped with Java properties. JSON key should be mapped with Java properties. JSON key should be mapped. Here what is JSON key? Order. Here property is order. Since it is a complex class, under order again we have a properties. This is also JSON key. So this is a JSON Java object. Understood team. How to do? I will show you practically team. How to do? I will show you practically team. The process of converting Java object into JSON is called JSON serialization. Is called JSON serialization team. How to do this JSON serialization also? Now we'll see practically team. Now let's see. Sir, one question here. Yeah, please ask. So we always do like a map out dot write value a string only or we have other method instead of string can we do any other data types over there? Yeah, good question. Here see write value write value method has some overloaded methods. One is one is write value. So, how your Java object is there? How your Java object? You should use only Java object. So, if we, if it is a input is here, a input is a Java object. No, and look, output is comma and output is JSON. JSON as a string. Number two, here write value as a string, give as a file, you want to store your data here, give work to Java object. to t so you can pass two arguments where you want to store this job 
json you can give the location okay instead of here here the output here the output will be print in console here if you want to print the output in file okay, you should give new file we should give this new file string this two are the flavor string two are the flavors same like right sir if we write a new file customer.json and we will pass the java object then it will uh, yes. store into yeah. the customer.json in in that uh, file yeah okay i can show you this example okay, okay sir. read value has same two three methods t here read value sir, here. one more question here so the right value the return type is like yeah. uh, in, in the program we took the return type is string right so and the second option we yes, have yes. new file right? we are writing to the file right customer json so what is the return type here sir, for the second one it will be here file. Wide. What? okay no return type. Here okay, wide. File. Okay. yeah but is there any other than uh, string and void uh, is there any other other return types sir? no no need right no need no just in the real time uh, so generally real time we write most of the time to console or most of the times to files only but other yes. than these two uh, is there yeah. any chance like uh, uh, any return type like other than these two no no oh, oh, only these two only yeah, only these two only okay thank you sir okay now here yeah thank you here read value now what is the read value you are giving json asking converting into java object here yeah. customer customer it will take care convert your java json to java object i will show you this next one next one so it is the one of the use case okay. next one is customer object only but your file is available in the remote location the remote location means what new url http colon instead of in local cnotech.com slash some location it is there slash api slash something it is there next one is there you can directly look instead of these two things you can directly you can give your json string don't depending on anyone name name colon name colon string that's it it is a java object it is a java object understood team so this is what how it works so one so, question so yeah. while reading we are doing like a new file of customer.json right so there instead of new file we can use like a new file reader or a buffer reader we can use anything right you can uh, use while reading. yes yes yeah okay so this is what how it works team so while converting your java object doing json java properties convert as a thing so it is a default one in real time in real time we don't want json key java properties as json keys we don't want java properties as json keys by default by default java properties as json keys we don't want json properties as java keys by default we want we want our own properties we want our own properties as json keys Okay, then we should 
we should use json annotations so json annotations are used to customize customize the json data while while doing while doing json serialization while doing json serialization what are the json annotations are there one is the rate json property at the rate json property at the rate json property at the rate json property another one is another one is at the rate json any getter at the rate json getter at the rate json property order at the rate json ignore properties at the rate json include at the rate json include ignore properties at the rate json okay root element at the rate if you want to specify any root element you should go for at the rate json root name root name at the rate json serialize at the rate json serialize team root name serial serialize okay now on son team so many json serialize at the rate json deserialize okay so many annotations was introduced into the json team introduced into the json but these are the main annotations these are the main annotation at the rate json getter at the rate json setter these are the main annotations team what these annotations will do how it works now we'll see practically team what these annotations will do how it will works now we'll see practically team let's see okay hope you are clear we are clear with the theory team how to convert java object into json json to java object now i will show you practically team i will show you practically team let's see we'll go for this id We'll go for this IDE team. I'm closing. I'm freshly starting. JSON. JSON workshop. Team, those who are not joined, please join in Telegram. Make sure okay, you should not miss these notes and okay, examples team. Please join in a telegram team. Okay, make sure okay, you should not miss notes on a telegram team. Okay, I have given the link in chat team. Let's see. Let's see team now. I'm taking one simple example. Why new others? Maven project. Maven project. Com dot Jason examples. Jason. Jason examples. Next, next, 
No. ¿Sí? No city. New class. Com dot. Inotech. Customer. How the customer object is there. I am increasing font size. Windows preferences. Font. Basic. Basic now. Wait string. Customer first name. Wait string. Last name. Wait string. Email ID. Email ID, date of birth, email ID, address, email ID, date, date of birth. So to give data, so you will see different use cases, you will see now. How to see? Next one. Wait, list of orders. Two email IDs you given to. Yeah, yeah. Here we'll give one address. Here we'll give list of order. Here, orders. Now here, private. Account. Account. How the account is there? I would say these are the model classes. 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 Order, wait string order ID, wait int order ID, name, string name, string name, boolean. Is delivered string description. Okay, now so if you use Lambok, right? This setters and getters is not required. To you. If you are not using Lambok, it is it is required. To you. Let's see, we'll go for setters. Account private string account number private string private big decimal string bank name string branch no need a Big decimal balance. Big decimal balance team. Alt S R Alt A done. Alt S R Alt A done. No good. Now okay, let's see the Alt S R Alt A done. Yeah. 
demo public chat required me before you do that you have to add the dependency you have to add the dependency dependency you have to add dependency this dependency you have to add go to the google json dependency jackson dependency jackson dependency okay you have added only one dependency dependency hierarchy it is bringing json annotations and also it is bringing json core it is bringing json annotations and also it is bringing json core so you have added one dependency okay which will take care of to bring other other dependencies also okay which will take care of to bring other other dependencies also okay now json core and annotations team json core and annotations team let's see team now let's see how to write the query i will go for this separate uh, not model only com dot synotype Now let's see team. Now we'll see. I'm preparing first Java object. Customer customer is equal to new customer. Customer dot set name. Customer dot set last name. Customer dot set email ID. Customer dot set Customer dot set data birth. So it is a data birth, new date. It is not a string. New date. Let's see. Customer dot set. List of orders. New array list. I am taking some complex object today. You can take the simple object also. It's not a problem. I am taking some complex object. Order, order one, new order, order one dot set, order ID, order one dot set, order name, order one dot set, a description is good order one dot set delivered true 
it is true it is now here order one dot description order id name only four four properties we are good four four properties we are it may be n number of objects t object to one object to two object to three order one order two order three how to add all these properties dot add order one dot add order two dot add order 3 done deal. at least i do understand so now done i i need to add accounts object also account accounts accounts account is equal to account account is equal to new account 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 is equal to new account to dot account number account to dot set new big decimal new big decimal account to dot set bank name Now what happened? Commerce dot set. Customers dot set. Now account. Now here object mapper. Mapper is equal to new object mapper. Mapper dot right value. See how many are there? So many are there here. Right value as a string bytes. Right value as right value. If you don't give anything, file writer. Right value file. It is a file you want to store. Now I will take as a string now. I want to give my Java object here. What is output string? Summer JSON. Some exceptions will be happening here. Let's see. Whenever you will get the output, how the output will come, I can show you. How the output will come, I can show you. How the output will come, I can show you. Let's see. I want to print this one. Customer JSON is Customer JSON is now run as Java application. See, I'm getting this way, team. I am getting this way, but I want some format, team. I am getting this way, but I want format. How this okay, format will be happening? Let's see. 
I am getting this waiting, but I am not seeing any format. So there is a one property is called default default. There is just some property is called set default uh, pretty printer set default. Right. Right with the default. Something is there deep. Better with the default. I will explain. Remove this mapper dot. Right with the default pretty printer. So you will get JSON format T. See? You will get this json format you will get this json format t now please try to understand you will get this json format t okay hope you are clear now what is my okay, requirement it's a good if you see by default this while converting this java properties keys are see if you see java properties keys are this in json java properties are in json keys that's fine java properties are in json keys okay, that's good java properties are in json keys team that's good now now what is our requirement our requirement is why here order ID is coming as in zero. Why here order ID, even though you are giving as an integer integer. Order ID, yeah. Here it is overrided. It is a problem. Uh, there uh, order two, order three, you need to give, sir. So how to win? Alt shift to R. We cannot change hold. Okay. Oh, here. If I run now, as I'm getting okay here okay everything the object one object two object three object four so if i stop the description we'll go step by step so but my client is asking hey i don't want this first name i am looking for first underscore name i am i am looking for after my whole project has been delivered, no, 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 my client is coming. Hey, this format is not good. This format is not good. You have to do that. You have to do this. Why I am not given this mobile number also is there. Mobile number is not there. No problem. We can ignore it. No, my client is asking. Hey, I, I want format is like that. Now my client is asking why you are printing for first customers. I want first accounts, then orders, then customers. See, if you want to change your bean now, now what you should do? You should modify your properties. You should modify here whole bean. How much difficult to see here? You should modify this. Alt Shift R again. Alt S. You modify here again. You should modify your Java code. These many changes are required if you are trying to change in the middle of the project. Right. Update JSON property. Update JSON property is will take care, will take care, 
you will override actually one java bean property while converting your java object into json instead of that in this property it will take these properties see you don't need to change any your code you don't need to change any your bean you just run your application you just run your application team just run your application team and as java see first underscore name last underscore name is coming or not name is coming or not team so if yes, you sir. want to over, coming. yeah if yeah if you want to override the default behavior of the json if you want to override the default behavior of the json okay next one hey i want order is important i want first account then order then this one now here what you will do go to here other rate json property order so i want account next i want let's see go to here run as java applications see team first account is coming or not team see team first account is coming or not next orders is coming or yes, not sir. depends upon the client requirement what client is asking sir it here yeah. uh, the order is based on the um, objects that right? is not based on the key value here yeah generally asking generally whenever we do like uh, this json uh, um, json order annotation property order annotation so that will be uh, uh, ordering based on the object right? like uh, order object will be coming first and account yeah. will be no no not object it is a property it is a property if you want to give you can give i don't want to after this i i want sudden look email address okay JSON property order. Okay. JSON don't know it is an object or not. JSON feel like all our properties. After orders, I want immediately email ID. After email ID, I want address. After address, I want uh, okay, data birth. See? Understood. Okay. JSON property order. It is Sorry. one of the property. Okay, that's it. Now, you will run the application. Run as JSON. See address, date of birth, email ID. That's it. See how how you give address, date of birth. Based on the requirement, it will be happening. Team. Based on the requirement, it would be happening. Are you clear? Are any questions, team? Are you clear, team? now now what happened so it is okay it is okay it is now here email id is wrong team here that's why it is output is wrong email id last came why here email id spelling is wrong after order immediate email id should come okay that's it see these annotations will manipulate the format how you want your json format how you want your but now here see now please try to understand so while converting your java object into json see at the rate json format at the rate json property is used it is used to it is user to, to to format the it is user to to format the 
property name. So instead of see JSON serialization, serialization will will we will use will use will will use other will use name as a other JSON property specified name will use other JSON property name JSON property name name as JSON key name as JSON key name as JSON key name now here the scope is only at method level it will use oh, it will use is used only at the only method level scope is only at methods other at json property order so it will it will see it will it will it will while while displaying the json so json json specific order so okay whatever order whatever order we need we need we need this annotation will 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 generate json data in same order okay scope at class level scope at class level and no let's see now see i have a order t unfortunately my order record description is getting null i am not using a description i am not using a description if you are not using a description it will be null value t run as see null values here is null values null but my client is saying hey we don't want to send this null value we don't want to send this null values to my consumers it is too bad if if balance value is not coming please please don't send balance elements sending null value they are displaying null value on the ui it is a too ugly my my client requirement is if the value will come send it if value will not come don't send this fields to your consumer annotation is called go where i want under order json include include only include dot you want to include non null you want to include non empty you want to include non default you want to include what you want non null values don't include null values that means json include is used what type of values include what type of values you want to include so while what type of values include during during json serialization example it includes it includes it includes only it includes only non null values if any null values in java object it will ignores it will ignores it will ignores that is it will not it will not it will not perform in serialization it will not process it will not process during serialization will not process during serialization during serialization now see here accounts
Now see, here I am giving null values. I will explain Rani, your answer I will give. <coughs> Rani is asking one question. Is this happened in, um, in Spring Boot automatically will happen this? Yes, I will explain Rani, please be wait. Yeah. See now see, now what is there here? Have you seen anywhere of a description here team? Have you seen a description team here please? Have you seen a description? Description is non-null values. I am I'm, I'm informing non-null values. If any empty values also will be there, let's assume that. During your object preparation, your, uh, you know, okay, any some empty values will be there. Let's assume that. Your order name will not be as an empty value. Some of the orders uh, values will not run. Run as a job application. See, name is empty. Now, what we'll do? Let's see here. Two will be supporting, or you should give, will not give. Include value is equal to value is one or value is two. Value is equal to non null, comma, value. Oh, value filter here value is equal to null null comma include so it will not allow include non null, null comma content non null content non empty let's see let's see all these annotations to do like mimic team see it is okay removed or not in the content see how the json elements is non null happy hey developer in your content if you have any non empty is there, okay, remove that one also. Okay. So it will okay, it will okay, it will include Sorry, it will printing, include. I guess. Sorry? It is printing. Non empty is still printing, I guess. So is it? Let's see. Yeah. Let's see. Oh here it is printing non empty. Non empty is printing. Let's see go to here how to add multiple i am checking team how to add multiple json include content filter value is equal to okay you need to add content non null comma Value is equal to non null comma. You cannot write two. Let's see. Not not empty. Not empty. And as Java applications. Still it is there team. But I am sure if you add only non empty, okay, it should work. But trust me. But either one, okay, you should use. If you want to use both, I will let you know. You have to write our own custom. I will let you know. See, oh, not empty also. It, it is not working. Why? It is something is issue. Why? Description should come null right now. Ali is equal to not empty. You are giving. At this time, a description also it should come right. Description. description is not coming maybe it is not building the jar properly maybe the space is not considered as empty no no at least null value should come right if i am not removing this one 
I remove this non null values, right? It should come null values, right? Run as JSON. Now null values are coming, okay, empty values are coming. Now oh, let's see. Yeah, not empty. Yeah, it, it may not take that field as okay, empty. Empty means what? We should see. See the output. Why oh, it is taking time to now we will see team how to write in custom json also we'll see okay leave it no problem if it is file leave it oh man build path configure build path libraries See, now it is, is okay, empty value is coming team. Yeah, still empty value is coming means it is not treating as a empty. Non null is working if it is not treating as a empty team. Okay, anyhow, I will check how the empty value and all. Let's see, it'll go to our old one team. Okay. Now go to here done now okay next one team very very work important one okay, next one see fourth one at the rate json fourth one at the rate json setter or json properties both are same team either you can declare at um, method level setter level or you can declare it at uh, field level both are same at the rate json okay ignore properties team I don't want to fee of the properties to so while converting my Java object into JSON. I don't want to fee of the properties while converting JSON to Java object. I don't want to fee of the properties team. What fee of the properties here? Go for accounts or go for here. Other it JSON ignore. I don't want to fee of the properties. What are the fee of the properties? I don't want email ID but I don't want address get JSON ignore properties see run as do you have address team here please see address team do you have address team here please Please have a respond team. Do you have address team? No, sir. So check once. No. See, at the rate JSON property is used, it will it will ignores, it will ignores or skip. If if you want, if 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 we don't want some of the, if you don't want some of the properties into JSON, if you don't want if you don't want some of the properties into JSON, some of the properties into JSON during during serialization, then add those properties, add those properties in properties in JSON ignore annotation. Add those properties in JSON ignore annotation. Add those properties in json ignore annotations team add those properties in here see team almost we are seeing okay, everything json ignore properties json 
property in json include what is the json root name team what is the json root name team see by default by default json okay does not have any root name team if you want to specify any of the root name happily you can give further it json root name by root name i want to give as a customer under customer i want all the properties should come under customer i want all the properties should come under customer i i want all the properties should come so this json root name is not working if you see json root name is not working team it should work json root name is not working if you want to work this root name you have to give object mapper mapper is equal to new object mapper object mapper dot enable 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 serialization feature enable during serialization Futuration dot app wrap root value during serialization dot wrap root value. See now run this one. It should work team. See all my JSON data will be there in the form of customer or not. See clear it was not there. Now it is there. Ultimately, the root is this braces only under under braces. All the accounts, orders, everything will be available under where this one under customer object. It depends upon the requirement team. You have to use all the annotations team. It depends upon the requirement. You have to use all the an annotations team. Okay. Add add the root root element root element root element in json now example team very 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 okay, important team very very okay, important team please what is at the rate json serialize very very okay, important in real time in real time if json serialization will provide will provide the default values in real time json serialization will provide the default values of date default values of number that is suppose see here what is my balance team my balance is 10000 for example For example, balance is 10,000, but, but client is asking 10,000, since it is a decimal, give three zeros or 10,000, give one zero or somebody is asking since it is a balance, it is not a good to send decimal you should add but my json by default will give the format of this one only if you see data birth see is it good data birth no see another example on data birth date object date object default printed default format is this one but we want we want to print our own our own format as per client requirement see by default your json will provide default is of 10000 only default is this one see if we want if we want 
custom custom format of data if you want if you want our own our own our own or our own or custom format data then then if you want our own or custom format data then we should use then we should use at the rate json serialize we should use at the rate json serialize how to use it please try to understand team how to use it very very important to team in your real time by default your json will provide this output only i don't want this format of date i don't want this balance so how to do for every format during your conversion of your you know object to json you have to inform to your object you have to inform to your json hello json please use this hello json please use this don't use for others okay how to inform to your json is a very very important thing you have to write our own format team how to write our own now we'll see practical detail so com dot cnotech class com dot cnotech com dot cnotech team custom date serializer date serializer which is extends std serializer All values. Let's see. Well, let's see. Thing. How to do? Simple date format. New simple date format. New simple date formatter DD MM YY hours minutes seconds. Let's see. Then dot write. String write string formatter dot format of eight. That's it. Now how to use this where you are using date here on top of the field at the rate JSON. Realize using class. You are informing that hello JSON. You are informing that hello JSON during your serialization. Hello JSON during your serialization. 
of import statements are it will give automatically this one thing if any error will come you will go to here click on the error or control shift o import statements will come control shift o so you are informing that hello while you are serialization it will jump into here it will execute okay instead of wherever date is there okay you sh you should not use default to date you should use this one let's see we'll run this one run as see 08 month date month year hours minutes seconds is coming or not team please is coming or not okay earlier output is see earlier output is this one now current output is this one current output is this one if you want our own format okay you should use this one if you want our own format then we should use this one No, got it team or any questions team? No, got it team or any questions team? Okay, okay, very well. Okay, let's see team. Now, same like number team. Now number is 10, 10,000. My client is asking, I want some good format after balance two two decimals i want how to do write another one another one earlier custom date now now we should add custom number or balance. custom balance serializer td serializer now here it is big decimal add an implemented methods so this custom serialization is applicable for only numbers and dates or uh, uh, any kind of data we can do yeah, yeah, any kind of data. I am writing number, date. If you want your own text format, it's all up to you. Okay, up to your wish. Okay. Just for example. Yeah. It's super is there here. It is expecting this of null, no problem. Now how to write our own big decimal decimal is equal to new big decimal decimal format formatter is equal to new decimal format. Then so in line 7, you given like extends uh, serializer big decimal, right? So in the type, we can give any type, right? It can be string no. or... Uh, no, no. Not for what this field one. you want? Incoming ah. data. Yes, yes. What field here is there? I am focusing on only in, in account. In account, what field it is there? Balance. Okay, written type here. Yes, on Serialize. Using using custom balance serialization yeah serializer dot class so during this serialization what is the format of here automatically dot written type i should give here okay what is that written type i should give here if the written type is okay then what happened here json dot right Ten dot right string right string 
formatter dot format of format of amount balance but what format here you should give i want hash 0 dot 0 after two zeros i want now let's see so this class should be add which fields you are adding here account field add it now right click run as there is amount see it is coming or not balance is it is okay or not team i don't want two zeros i want only one zero go to here one zero is the format go to here one zero understood team please are you are you getting or not yes sir yes yes okay good depends upon the requirement you you might use team here here i am using date and balance here i am using date and balance now here you can use your own your own okay requirement team okay you can use okay your own okay requirement team yeah now okay next tc what is next one json so here i may use i may use file in my object mapper or i may use i may use mapper dot I don't want to use console team. I may use in a different way. Or I can use here and here. Mapper dot. Write value as string. Mapper dot write value. Mapper dot write value team. If you want, you can store this um, same fields in a different way team. Same fields in a different way. Write value. New file of let's assume that I am creating one file here. New file summer dot JSON. Let's see whether it will take by default or not. Summer dot JSON. Here. Here our, our Java object. Here our Java object. What is our Java object? Control Shift O I give. Let's see. Run as Java application. Here, did we get or not here data? No, Java update is customer JSON. Sorry? This is customer. One second. No, I am giving, so it is how to give. Yeah, here, here I should give. Customer JSON. Hmm. No, 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 no. I want to give Java object. This Java object, instead okay. of, instead of, see, here I am giving mapper dot write value. Java object should be converting into this file here. Okay. Here my Java object is converting into as a string here same value i want to do it in with file yes. it is not taking i should give fully file okay let's see the location 
First one, okay, what I want to see here. Sir, are you clear or not? It is void. Yes. Job application. See? It is my JSON. It is my JSON team. Different ways you can use team. Depends upon the requirement. You should use all the scenarios team. This is called JSON serialization. Now what is JSON serialization? Deserialization. Take this new class. JSON. Deserialize. Deserialization. JSON deserialize demo. Here. Object mapper. Mapper is equal to new. Object mapper. Mapper dot. Read value. File and Java type. new file we will give hey i'm here what is my java object my dot class give second type is always object only second type is always object only Second type is always object only. How to do? Second type is always object only. Now, it has two string. It will print the object. Otherwise, it won't print the object. It will print the hash code value. JSON deserialize demo. System dot out dot print ln customer object is now run as Java application. Why? Now see that is the problem. Excellent. See all these errors are important to do. So what is the error? A unrecognized property customer. I don't know what is customer. Your, your JSON looks like, see here please, JSON looks like one extra field is their customer. But while doing deserialize to Java, uh, JSON to deserialize means it will map account field is available in the customer or not. If it is available, then only it will do it. If it is not available, it will not do it. While doing deserialization, whatever the JSON keys will be mapped to Java properties, those objects only it will be able to convert your JSON to Java object. Otherwise, you, okay, it won't do it. If you see here, starting it will looks for customer. Hey, do you have any customer object here? No. I should inform. Hello, deserialize. Don't worry. Dot. Here, whatever field we are enabled here. This field we should enable for deserialization also. This field we should okay, enable for deserialization also. Deserialization. Unwrap root value. Don't take, don't, okay, you can okay, ignore this root value while doing deserialization, see. Still it is not coming. 
not a valid date format excellent not a valid date format here also you should give why by default your in json deserialize is expecting different way you have to do another one you have to do json deserialization also thing okay you have to do json how to do json deserialization also you have to do if all are okay it is okay but whenever you are writing okay, whenever you are writing not deserialization team he, here also okay, you should use json deserialization team json deserialization also we have to do how to do json okay deserialization team how you are giving serialization right same okay you should give de, json okay deserialization also team same okay you should give json deserialization how to do it now we'll see team now we'll see custom custom date deserialization deserialization which is extends if it is java guy they will write in java if it is a dot net guy json serializer and deserializer what amount you are looking for what field you are looking for date field what field you are looking for date field now serialize what field we have written in this serialize same you should write not this one this is the format what you will do hey this is the format This is the format. Convert this format to string date. String date. JSON parser. Dot parse. Get text string first. Now, oh, once it is done, now return parameter dot parse of my date. That's it. You are okay, reversing here. You are doing your reverse. You are doing here a reverse. Understood team. Now here what we'll do? You are doing here a reverse team. Okay. If any exception is there, you can throw it here a exception. Return. Runtime exception. That's it. New runtime exception. New runtime exception. Why? Inside of the cache block, I'm giving not here. Parse exception. Sorry. See? Now, but again here, okay, interesting. 
now here what i should give all our real time use cases team you might not see in all the use cases next to 10 minutes okay it will be done saudari okay next to 10 minutes okay it will be done yeah by 11 25 okay can done yeah yeah please okay register in this okay, telegram team he'll send all the notes and okay, examples in the telegram so you know technologies are the red please okay, register team here okay now go to your customer where is your date you should use json deserialize using custom date deserialize dot class let's see let's see during your generally in your real time serialization is from provider deserialization at consumer different classes they should use here i am writing same class let's see how to test go to test to run as java application see are we getting or not everything are we getting all the fields or not i'm getting java object or not i'm getting java object or not first name last name date of birth date orders i got orders i got account i got everything is coming or not team this is the way how this java object to json json to java object to team now last one team in real time in 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 spring boot team in spring boot in spring boot or jax rs in spring boot or spring rest spring rest we don't need to write this all too much of code just understanding i am explaining develop for no need to write no need to write the json no need to write manual code manual code on json serialization and json deserialization number 1 and number 2 spring boot spring boot jackson library jackson library will be will be included will be included or will be included or part of spring boot starter spring boot starter web jar spring boot starter web jar that is we don't need to we don't need we don't need to add jackson library in in pom.xml jackson library manually in pom.xml third step at the rate request to body annotation request to body annotation will take care will take care to convert json to will take care to convert will take care of json deserialization that is that is consumer or client will send will send json data in input in in input no in input at provider end at provider end at the rate request to body at the rate request to body will take care to convert json to java object that is at the rate request to body annotation internally 
internally will use jackson will use jackson to perform to perform this on to perform this on to java object that is is on deserialization is on deserialization understand we don't need to write all this code who will write all this code you are at the rate of a request to body annotation will take care fourth one Rani, hope you okay i am answering your question Rani. at the rate response body annotation will take care yes on serialization that is provider will send the response object will send the response object to, to consumer while sending the response object at provider end response object will be converted to json json that is at the rate response body annotation internally will use jackson to perform java object to json that is called json serialization are we clear team or any question team so number by default it is taking nayana good question number so nayana is asking sir are you doing uh, deserialization for only date why not you using number number is always it is so number also you should use a deserialization right but number by default this numbers are automatically deserialized nayana but date format is actually it is different see it is in different but by default date is different there is no no comparison here that's why it could not able to deserialize you are in json is expecting this format but you are giving completely like a different that's why you are you are json could not able to understand so you are you you have to manually deserialize it then numbers by default it could be deserialized it could not be deserialized you have to write our own deserialization for number also how to write same like this one understood okay yeah this is what I want to explain to you in your real time. This is very, very, very important about JSON team. We have covered all the use cases team. So if already JSON is there, if already JSON is there, why, why market, why YAML is so popular? will not teach yaml now just i will introduce and start why so popular in market only reason is team yaml is when compared to json yaml is lightweight we are thinking json is in lightweight but still yaml is lightweight why it is my JSON team. See, it is my JSON. How to equivalent YAML you want to see? Go to Google. JSON to YAML. Here I am providing my JSON here. See? There is no braces in YAML. 
there is no codes in yaml even though array also there is no brackets in yaml if it is array when compared to json is 26 lines yaml is only 20 lines yaml starts with this always the market is more okay more uh, you know uh, okay, optimized team if it is json if huge data is there still json is processing is taking more time wait yaml is there yaml will take care see it is yaml stands for you know how this yaml will work ain't markup language and it is used for so i will not use more on this okay, yaml team just i am telling when compared to yaml with json yaml is still lightweight team yaml is still lightweight i will explain in one more weekend in depth on this yaml here i am showing this yaml is a simple way that's it yaml is there any scenario like uh, i mean uh... Any scenario like where we need to go with JSON format and where we no 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 only for data that's it only for data size no in the interview like if client asks like uh, uh, instead of uh, if uh, like I want to go with the JSON I don't want to go with the YAML so is there any reason uh, why I should go with the YAML? YAML for more 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 configuration would be easy. If you use YAML, I can use Spring Boot in configuration. You can go for more configuration. You should go for this okay, YAML, sir. In our okay, YAML class, I will teach. If already in JSON is there, oh, why you should go for YAML, YAML data types, YAML syntaxes. You know, I will uh, deep into YAML in you know, upcoming session. Okay. And I want limited this session to JSON. But if you start this, so much of is there. Definitely, I will teach in our yaml class team okay C team are you do you have any questions team sir json form validation against json schema yeah yeah you, yeah json schema means like uh, if you go for write json swagger editor there is no no like a okay, xsd here also you have to Manual, it is your JSON schema. What is JSON schema? Like, there is no explicitly like okay, XSD will validate, right? That kind of a validation, sir, is not there. You have to give our own team. You have to write, see, our entire swagger is okay, depending on here is a okay, YAML. You can convert this YAML to your version. So, Rambabu, your answer is there is no like a XSD. You have to write manually our JSON schemas. That's it. Do you have okay. any sample that you can show us now? You want a JSON schema? Yes, sir. Against JSON file validation against JSON schema file. Yeah, that there is no framework. There is no framework like uh, okay uh, to validate to validate uh, you know json file there is no okay, fixed one understood what i'm trying to say okay so, sir, thank you and one more doubt uh, let's say for example if there is a, a string it has been read from json file instead of a, a numeric how can how yeah. can we validate do we need to write any custom code in the deserialization uh, level? Yes, yes, yes. You have to write. See, for you, right, I can tell, you know, uh, Ramba, we, okay, you have asked two questions. One question I will tell. I can show it here. JSON schema. JSON schema. Againest. Uh, Againest. JSON file in MongoDB, I think MongoDB has given clear this one. See, sir, I could explain, but not fully see. Here, my ID is seven. My name is John. 
age is this, hobbies is this. See how to write schema. ID. Type is number. Name. Type is string. Name. Type is number. See, you can't uh, see here. Now you can write this, but whenever you are writing schema, you should do is your product schema, HTTP ID. You cannot write, okay, inject this your, your JSON. See here, your JSON file. You can write it, but you cannot validate against of your JSON. So it is called how to write by following the schema manually. You should be able to know. See here, here you have a JSON. Okay, example dot employee schema dot JSON. It is your employee dot JSON. Now you have schema. It is manually. You should verify. You cannot run this schema. You got it? Okay, thank you. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Uh, another question. See, whatever formats you can write. If you are writing here, format means other than the string you are giving anything, it will give error only. Understood, Dr. Yes, sir. Yes. Any questions, team? Any sir, questions, team? Sir, when we are like uh, 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 generating the swagger swagger file, right, for our JSON, uh, sorry, mm -hmm. for our project generally, so mm -hmm. so that swagger file gonna consist the schema also, right? like what kind of data we need to pass. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mm -hmm. what I'm trying to say. Drama question is, it is a schema how only. Ah, uh, how to validate automatically, like XML to XSD. If you give your XML again, I stop XSD, you can validate. Rambab is asking, is there any that kind of you know, future? No. What I am telling, you have to by following this schema. Schema means what? What is the structure of your JSON looks like? So this schema is your structure. What is the data type schema? Type is array. Based on this schema, you have to write our JSON. Okay, that's it. Okay, you have to write our model classes. Based on the schema, you have to build our JSON. You have to build our model classes. There is no IDEs. If you give JSON schema, if you give JSON file, hey, this JSON is valid or not? No. So, as a developer, do we need to? So, we never write the schema first, right? So we generally uh, 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 through Swagger or another another API. See, you know, no, that's wrong. Two types of approaches: top to bottom, mm -hmm. bottom to top. If you write uh, along with your REST API, if you want to write Swagger, you don't need to worry. Some of the clients are there they will write this whole code manually how using editor using editor i will i will modify my project swagger i will check it is valid or not by referring this so some clients are preferred for the code swagger code in our source code some clients are preferred for I don't want to write um, along with my source code. They will write the Swagger file manually in JSON or YAML. They will generate the documentation. Got it? Okay. But uh, with the second approach, the validation won't be have validation will be tough task. But like uh, whether yes, the yes, yes, agreed. Okay, tough only. Uh, you know. Um, that's why those who are strong on this JSON, they can write it. Second approach, it is top. Until unless you have strong knowledge on this, how to write JSON and OK YAML. Got it. Sir. Understood? For client side, by using JSON schema. No, client side, right? Swagger. By using Swagger, you can write. Yeah, client will give this Swagger UI. Along with the Swagger UI, they will write this JSON schema also team. 
using this json schema manually client will prepare the model classes understood running yeah any questions team please okay team so from upcoming day, week maybe yeah, end of the yeah. day sometimes we'll get the schema also based on the schema we need to write our model class right so yeah but, but if i go here you can download your client classes also here i have json i have json here download client your model classes using spring java java download it it will provide the model classes also see see all are model classes address class category class member class order class user class is it giving or not it is my default id understood copy paste your json or okay okay i will do here you want to client side you want classes you want to provider side means here only model classes will come provider means you are okay controller class okay everything will come see go to provider means why it is only limited server side spring yeah spring see client side only model classes server side you will get it since you are spring right api see controllers here user api in controller store api controller pet api controller understand so you can generate if you write manually happy but if you want to reduce your effort means copy paste that uh, swagger who which you got from the your provider schema paste the schema here here generate the classes team if you are happy you can write this okay reviews team 